Folks, Earthmaster here on this uh, Sunday night, February 26, 2023. It's about 6.05 p.m. here along the West Coast in California. And the uh, latest earthquake shows a um, 5.1 uh, down and a 4.5, looks like, into the area of the Indonesia region. All right, let's go ahead and check out uh, some specifics about what's going on out here right now. we got a current G2 storm incoming as we speak. There is the current aurora forecast right now. Uh, those in the higher latitudes should be alert for the uh, auroras up there, pending you have a clear sky. KP index right now reaching up around the mid-5 range. Um, not quite a G3 storm. Uh, we're currently in the G2 class category. Uh, this is from the uh, arrival of the first CME. We are expecting a secondary CME to possibly enhance uh, the current solar magnetic storm. So watch for that possible uh, G3 storm here over the next 12 hours. We'll watch that pretty closely. Again, if you're up there in the higher latitudes, uh, make sure you uh, take a peek up into the sky. You can see this here on the Aurora. I did change over the Earthquake 3D program, or the uh, live stream, I should say, uh, from the solar flare chart to the current Aurora forecast. So we'll keep that up for now. Um, what else is there going on? So we're just going to make this a space weather and weather update right now. We'll do a little bit of uh, earthquake updating as we uh, get a little bit later into the night tonight. Check out what's going on out here in Oklahoma and Texas. There is a huge squall line uh, with some impressive wind uh, scooting across this area. Looking pretty uh, drastic there on radar. Um, now, as of right now, the watches that I'm seeing is just a current tornado watch. There has been a couple tornado warnings already in portions of uh, Oklahoma and Texas. Uh, let's go ahead and see a different radar imagery. This is radar scope here uh, that shows... The current line, the red boxes here are indicative of a watch, which is going to be a tornado watch. Um, this one, the first one here, looks like it expires in about 52 minutes. And the reason why is because this storm system here, this line of weather, is a zipping super quick uh, over to the, um, excuse me, over to the uh, northeast. Uh, and that has set up a tornado watch for the Oklahoma City area. This one expires in about four hours, 51 minutes. So if you're in this area, uh, watch for potential tornadoes tonight. Um, this thing's getting pretty rough looking here on radar. Just a huge line of uh, thunderstorms, some intense wind as well. Uh, I pulled up the map here that kind of, let me get this inspection tool. Kind of a neat little deal to check out wind gust out here. And this is gonna be the uh, estimated wind gust. Could be a little bit less, but we have been getting some reports of 70, 80 mile per hour straight line winds out there. And they were forecasting potentially up to about 100 mile per hour uh, straight line winds. So this is all coming into the Seymour area, Wichita Falls, um, and eventually uh, further east. Let me go over here to the uh, single imagery. So it looks like right now we're over, uh, uh, let's see where we're at. This is, uh, okay, Wichita Falls. Lawton is getting pretty close here uh, to the area up on the northern end. Uh, and this does stretch way up north, uh, but it looks like uh, the majority of the severe weather potential is going to be down here in southwestern, o southwestern Oklahoma and portions of Texas. Uh, let me show you guys what these guys have here on the map, the moderate level. Um, where the most extreme weather uh, could take place. That includes Oklahoma City area, Tulsa, uh, Lawton, as I mentioned. Uh, but also this severe weather goes up further into the uh, region here, Kansas, Nebraska area as well. But uh, right now, I think the main area we need to watch here, the tornado area too, is the hatched region, 10% chance. Uh, and that includes a good area. Um, looks like it does include uh, Lawton, Edmond, Yukon, um, Bethany area. So heads up, if you live in that region, there's been a tremendous amount of lightning with this system as well. It's pretty impressive. Uh, this only shows the current ongoing lightning strikes as we speak, and there's a lot of them. Uh, 
But uh, the main threat right now is those straight line winds and uh, the tornado potential out here. Again, I'm looking at the uh, weather map here, and I am not seeing any current tornado um, warnings. Just that watch that is in place out here across a good portion of Oklahoma. So we'll continue to watch this as it uh, travels really quickly across the uh, Oklahoma City area. It looks like right now we're just getting into El Reno uh, with some light shower activity, but that will change here very soon. Some of these cells have been producing some significant hail. Right now, it doesn't look um, it doesn't look all that impressive for significant hail. The hail cores are going to be something down here around Rochester, uh, which is uh, that's a rotating storm. Let me see what we got. Oops, let me get off of this here. It would help. Uh, this is cell C8. It's moving northeast at 61 knots. So this is a pretty fast moving cell. This whole line is actually in general uh, moving pretty rapidly across the area. And um, let's see what we got here for uh, potential. I don't in see any significant hail event with that. Uh, again, this was earlier. Uh, there is some possibly up here uh, near the Roosevelt area. Pea size hail. Uh, but it, you know, the threat is still there for the tornado potential. And as it comes into this area, the Ardmore area, uh, that will be later tonight. But, uh, goodness, that is going to be quite the storm system out here, uh, for this area. Let's see what we got here for wind events, uh, kicking up some reports. These are, uh, I don't know if these are sustained winds or, um, looks like maybe these are, uh, Sustained winds gusting 72 miles per hour around uh, the uh, Hobart area. Uh, 49 mile per hour wind, 62 mile per hour gust at the uh, Aldous Quartz Airport, it looks like. Oh no, uh, Quartz Mountain region. So the, uh, the, you know, right now the main super big threat is going to be that straight line wind event, but also embedded tornadoes. So uh, get ready, Oklahoma City. It's knocking on your door pretty quickly. Um, just best thing to do is stay safe out there, folks. That's for sure. Again, a um, you know 10% chance of this hatched area seeing a EF2 to EF5 tornado within 25 mile, uh, 25 miles of a point. There's a wind event, 45%. That's pretty significant. All right, uh, let's see here. <clears throat> so that's the weather again space weather uh there is a g2 class storm underway uh, following the arrival of a cme a secondary cme is still incoming and it may impact the, the uh, region later today or tomorrow that could intensify um this whole solar storm activity <clears throat> to a g3 uh, class level so we'll continue to watch that again g3 storms are possibly visible in illinois and oregon typically 50 degree geomagnetic latitude there so all right folks uh, we'll be back a little bit later on uh <clears throat> this evening once i get my voice back uh with a complete update video on earthquake activity and any further space weather events for now stay safe out there and uh, we'll catch you guys here in a little bit also watch uh, southern california kind of lighten up down there with uh, earthquake activity